Alrighty. Welcome back, everybody. Last time we were heading through the Smitten Falls. Smite Falls. To get some Mithril. This is Wolf of Fallen. Let's do this. Wee. Here we get some new enemies. And they ambush us. God, this is slow. Uh, try to preserve Maria's MP as much as possible. You're gonna need it. Uh, I should move Min Wu back into the front row. I mean, he makes a better physical fighter at this point, but if he's in the back, I move him to the front row. Yeah, if he's in the back row, he's not gonna be as effective. Hey, victory! So far, you should just be encountering enemies you've met, like, on the world map or something. Press select. Just press the button. You can't reorder them in any way. Eye drops? I don't know if it's just me, but it feels like this game you can't... ...run as easily. From battles. Ah, here we have some balloons. I forget if I show these. I think I did, but I'll show them again. Uh, if you only have a few enemies, this get really annoying. They ambush you really easily. If you have a few enemies, especially weaker ones, I'd use Maria's magic then, just to get them out of the way. Uh, fire. Yeah, I think the green goblins have ten, uh, green goblin, and, um, the white goblins have, or the regular goblins, only have like six, five or six HP, I forget. Holy crap, maybe they're weak to fire, <laughs> it's kind of odd. Yeah, there's a lot of en enemy encounters, like, I think this is, I think this game has, like, the most enemy encounters. Alright, in this game you're gonna run into this a lot. There'll be four doors, three of them are fake, not so much fake, but if you go into them they're like an empty room with a really high encounter rate. Good place to level up, it can be quite annoying, so you gotta choose the right door. In this case, this one. Ah, Yeti Mines. I don't know if I showed these. I believe they are weak to fire. So we'll roast their chestnuts. Not bad. Yeah, like I said, you want to save Maria's MP quite a bit. Try to keep it above 10. There we go. Yeti, Yeti, whatever the plural is. What is the plural of Yeti? I don't know. Yeti? Alright. I forget what I was talking about. Oh god, that was so helpful. One gill. We, oh, wrong direction. Those get a lot of rooms. Like this one. They're empty. They have high encounter rates. Almost very rarely is there any treasure in any of the rooms. Continuing on. There's nothing to the south there. Ugh. Turn around, fear on you idiot. Yeah, there's nothing to the south there, ignore it. They do that a lot too. They create a lot of paths that have nothing in them. Save me! Yeah, they all say the same thing. I hear this little girl is Joseph's daughter? Huh? Huh? This child is Joseph's daughter. Borgen is holding her hostage. 
the mithril is somewhere deep in the cave, but I couldn't find it. I'll escape. I'll, I'll help the uh, slaves escape, sorry. And they disappear. I guess he used the exit spell. Uh, sorry for the save state. Yeah, I dropped save states just out of habit. I don't use them that often. Fire? It's going through it really quickly, sorry. If I hold down the button, it just kind of jumps. Nothing in the room up there. Nothing to the left, or to the left or down. We. One thing I forgot to tell you, your... I'll talk through this anyways. Your physical attackers cannot penetrate the line of defense two characters in. So if you have, say, eight enemies on the screen, only the first four are targetable. The last four cannot be targeted. So you gotta watch for that. That's only your physical characters. That's where your magical characters come into play. Your magical characters will be able to target enemies in the back row. Now how this is bad is, say, counting from right to left, top to bottom, if you target one, two, three, and four with all different physical characters, but target two doesn't die, those the two that are the other three that are dead, they're still considered a gap. So you will not be able to target the back ones in the row until you get kill two. And that can be very annoying. So this means you have four characters targeting one enemy. We'll show this for an example. If we kill him, as long as Maria doesn't flee, him, him. So, Elf 1, or Goblin 1, whatever, will not be killed. That was a critical hit when you see them, like, dance really far back. Bow was a special ability, that's called a special ability, the enemies, a lot of enemies use though, like the Chimera's Cremate or Blaze or whatever they call it. So, see, I cannot target the other four. Neither can anybody else. So unfortunately here, we're just gonna have Maria cast fire, so all four of your members would have to attack that one, wasting the other three's turn. See, just like that. That's highly annoying. Wee. See, I wouldn't be able to explain anything whatsoever if I had to explain it between battles, because god, does this thing have an ever a high uh, encounter rate. Like, it's not even on the world map, it's the, uh, it's the dungeons are ridiculously high encounter rate. Like, there's no way you can survive one trip. You have to take a lot of trips. Didn't die, damn it. Yes, that's how pathetic Maria's. I should have built up her. I should build up Maria's strength a bit more, but you got to be careful because her intelligence will go down if you do that. So here's the uh, item screen where you can choose what you want to pick. Swap out, why not? So we'll head up here. One thing I forgot to tell you is that balloons are off a lot like their counterparts, bombs in the other games. Ooh, wow, new enemies. Huh, wasn't expecting this. I believe they're weak to fire. I'm just gonna take a guess that they're weak to fire. Uh, I don't actually know. So you can pretty much almost be in critical and using one all attack on, uh, or one all cure on, uh, uh, doing no damage. One all cure with uh, Min will pretty much cure them right back to full health. Yeah, look at that damage. Slime fell. Slime fell? Isn't that a show? So, yet again, 
Nothing here. Yeah. It's been so long, that battle took so long I forgot what I was talking about. Alright, here's a chest here. But first, that fire spell. What you can do is you can actually go to equip. Here in the items, and equip it. And when you use them in battle, you'll use fire 8. Ah, we got exit. Oh, our first trap chest. And we get a lion turtle. You cannot harm these except with magic. This is why it's a good idea. Well, you can harm them, but not very much. Yeah. Zero. Yeah, thought so. Yeah. However, Maria's pretty much going to kill it in one hit with uh, these two. Her intelligence is really ridiculously high. Yeah. I think she's got like 25 intelligence. She's a very smart girl. Uh, sorry about that. Safe state again. Let's have it. We we're almost out of here. Don't worry, folks. It's not so much that the enemies are tough, they just it's There are just so many damn random encounters that it whittles you down after a while. That door That door over there is just another trap. This door, however, is the one we want to go to. And this scary looking man. That mithril's mine uh, get it. Get it folks. Do you get it? Ah, eh, whatever. Let's battle him. You are not going to do any physical damage to this guy whatsoever, and he ambushed us. Bastard. Did nothing, apparently. You cannot hit him. Uh, I don't know why I attacked there. Cure is your best bet. Oh, I got life for Fear Furion. Sorry, I forgot. Hit him with Maria's magic. And use... Uh, da -da, shell. What shell does is it protects from uh, special attacks like bow, and he'll use that. Fortunately, I think shell is one of the ones that uh, it's either shell or blink doesn't work. I forget which one, or rather, it only works on the caster. Let's get people's HP going, just so Furion can get some more experience with cure. Yeah, so keep, uh, keep Maria's HP up. If you're in the remake, you'd probably want to cast... Ow, oh, damn it. Probably want to cast Blink on everybody. Yes, even that's doing very little. And you might get lucky. The other technique you can use, it's a bit risky, but use the... Min's Change ability. I'll show it in a second here. change ability. It'll pretty much swap their HP and MP from the target. Oh, I should have healed her. I'm an idiot. Damn it. No. Oh, well. Yeah, see, that's not working as well as it should. Maybe it's safe. I think I have to cast safe, not shell. I forget. No, well, he's dead anyways. Absolutely nothing. Maria's HP and MP went up. Gus's intelligence down. I don't really care if his intelligence goes down because he's not really going to be using much. Ooh, that's a good, excellent item for us. It's a good one for Maria. So there, we have procured or possessed the mithril. We have possessed the mithril. So after that said and done, go to Minwins and hit exit. We're warped. Now remember, Minwu is going to be low on HP. Yeah. Secure him up. Ah, crap. I meant to do that on Maria. And one last bit of advice. Or not advice, but I'm going to put exit on Gus. Because I just can't. And there we go. 
Quit Maria with the Mithril Bow. So I am going to meet you back at Altier. Actually, no, I'll meet you back at Salamando in the next episode. So, folks, thank you for watching, and have a good day. Bye.